All right, Shalom. <clears throat> First, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. Um, this is an article that I was reading earlier today, and uh, the gist of it was going into, okay, as you see here, yes, yeah, heat ray, all right, or uh, microwave weapons. And it says here from Zero Hedge, military confirms it mauled uh, deploying experimental heat ray to protect the White House. All right, basically they uh, canceled, all right, that, that idea or that plan to use the heat ray. Notice how the wording is to protect White House, right? Now, you should ask yourself, okay, who are they protecting the White House from, number one? And number two, is it that bad that you needed to even consider using a heat ray? So it says, uh, an experimental Pentagon weapon, which has, and, and now it shows you that what, they actually have these things, which we've been telling you about. You see that right there, the microwave weapon, and let, or the heat ray, as they call it. So let's read about it. It says, as experimental Pentagon weapon, or an experimental Pentagon weapon, which was intended for use in varying scenarios, from deterring pirates on the high seas to riot control in city streets, in cases of mass unrest, is subject to fresh controversy after documents of its field trials surfaced. So that means what? They, these are used for what? For deterring pirates on high seas to riot control in city streets. So they use this for riot control. So don't be surprised if not. Of course, they said they brushed it down now, but they might just turn up again with it. Two decades ago, the DOD revealed a weapon called an active denial system or ADS nicknamed the pain ray <laughs> wow the pain ray or also heat ray which was capable of inflicting an invisible zap of pain upon protesters failing to disperse or alternately could deter hostile boats approaching a battleship so um that means what they started with the tear gas the rubber bullets ward holes and all that that ain't working all right so now they need to up it up okay they need to step it up and they were planning to bring the heat ray now let's read what it does it works by directing a blast of energy at a target causing subjects to brief uh brief but excruciating pain excruciating pain isn't a mild or minor or no 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 let's look up the word excruciating the word itself sounds excruciating intensely painful agonizing okay severe intense extreme okay tormenting my goodness savage violent and i gotta read it with such emphasis to really put that into your mind okay see it's not slight and it's not mild okay it's agonizing it's extremely painful more than one can bear all right so what does it do it is uh it causes subjects brief but excruciating pain pain more than you can bear as if skin is on fire which leaves no lasting or permanent injury that doesn't make sense how can you cause such brief damage to the body if your body feels pain that means damage is being done pain is a mechanism all right a feedback mechanism to let you know stop whatever you're doing because it's causing damage to the body so pain is to you know, the same way you put your hand in fire, you feel pain, so you move your hand quickly. Because pain is telling you, stop what you're doing because it's causing damage to the body. This is my means of stopping you from whatever you're doing. That's why it hurts so much. When you put your hands in fire, you feel pain because there's some damage that's being done. So how can you say it's going to cause you excruciating pain, but no damage is done? Or let me say, leaves no lasting or permanent injury. It says, it essentially hits a subject with a blast of intense, searing heat. You know what that does? That can destroy your cells. That can harm your tissues. Okay? If it can if it can pass through the, the layer of the skin, then it can damage you internally. So what are you talking about? Le doesn't leave any lasting or permanent injury. That's a lie. It says, uh, searing heat. A 2007 field test later uh, leaked to Wired revealed... How, however, that an, however, that an airman serving as test subject was severely burned by the device. Okay, and they usually have it on here, on these trucks and these jeeps. 
All right, and they pointed in that direction, and them protesters scatter like roaches, man, because that thing is not, look, all right, <laughs> and this this is what they were planning to bring, and they're not, what, what you think, what you think, just because they brushed it off this time, that's it forever? Hell no. It says, this, this, this uh, despite Raytheon scientists who uh, developed it attempting to assure that it is completely safe and only induces temporary discomfort. <laughs> yeah, discomfort. The non-lethal device works by emitting a microwave beam at 95 gigahertz, a specific frequency that penetrates the outermost layer of skin. So that means it goes past the skin and it goes to what's under the skin. But the skin is there to protect your the things that are under the skin from certain things. Bacteria. That's why, number one, you have hair on your skin. Okay, to catch certain uh, germs and bacteria. And then you have the skin, all right, which is there to protect the, the, the inner layers. So if it's penetrating your skin and it's going, it's going to do more damage. But let's read what they said. It says, um, creating an immense burning sensation, but not powerful enough in fury to cause a burn. Key word. All right. See, people will read over this and they'll just, just skim over it. Oh, not powerful enough to cause a burn. Oh, okay, so we're good. No, no, no. It's not powerful enough in theory. Let's look up the word theory. All right. Uh, okay, theory. Definition. Okay. It says, a supposition or system of ideas intended to explain something, especially one based on general principles uh, independent of the thing to be explained. A hypothesis or a thesis. That means it's not fact, it's a hypothesis. Okay? An opinion, a view, a belief, a concept, an idea, a guess. Okay? This is why you got to look up your words. So they're saying... It's not powerful enough. They're guessing is not powerful enough to cause a burn because that's what theory means. It hasn't been proven, but based on what they have so far, this is what they think. Yahoo News reports this week after defense officials reportedly looked into using the pain ray to deter recent hostile rioters near the White House. You hear that? They were, about to, they, they were and are about to bring this on your asses, man. The pain ray? That just sounds painful in itself. After failing to be effective in either Iraq or Afghanistan, in part uh, reportedly because it takes so long to power up, it must be operated from a platform no smaller than a Humvee or other large military vehicle. Pentagon officials mold the potential for it to be used to deter increasingly violent protests such as hit American cities this summer. All right, so they basically shut it down. It says, pain without injury, the active denial system deters attackers by sending a non-lethal millimeter wave of electromagnetic energy, causing a burning sensation. The wave penetrates the skin to 1 one sixty-fourth of an inch, causing a feeling similar to being on fire. Imagine that, you feel like your whole body's on fire. Two second bursts can heat skin to 130 degrees. The normal skin is, your normal temperature is 98 degrees. This joint can heat it up to 130 in two seconds. <laughs> it says the antenna focuses the energy, the, the invisible energy. Um, transmitter produces 95 gigahertz frequency waves, 122 degrees. People pull away reflectively. Okay. This is what they're trying to bring out, man. Don't be, don't be, don't think that you're good just because uh, they, they, the Pentagon molded it, okay, because that, that, that doesn't mean that's going to be permanent, okay? Wait till they feel like nothing is working. They're going to bring these out, and the article is going to say it. But it's yet unknown what effects it might have on young children, the elderly, or on people with pre-existing health issues, you see? So they're saying it's not going to leave permanent damage, but this is unknown, and this is why the NPR report this week is causing so much controversy. It says, uh, a spokesperson for Joint Forces Headquarters Command in Washington, D.C. confirmed to NPR that hours before federal police officers cleared a crowded park near the White House with smoke and tear gas on June 1st, a military police staff officer asked if the D.C. National Guard had a kind of heat ray weapon that might be deployed against demonstrators in the nation's capital. 
You hear that? He's like, yo, y'all don't got, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't got one of them. They know these are things that are used for situations like this. So you coming over there with your water bottles, all right, and your, and your, your you know, DIY, do-it-yourself shields, you know, and your little bot things here. You, you ever felt a heat ray before? Or as they call it, a pain ray? No, nah, I don't think you have. It says, uh, Colonel Robert Phillips, a spokesperson for the Joint uh, Force Headquarters, uh, National Capital Region, or JFHQ, NCR, said the injury or the inquiry was made as a matter of due diligence and prudent military planning. Man, man, man. That was during the height of George Floyd and Black Lives Matter protests, which in, uh, inundated D.C. streets and especially areas around the White House. It turns out the Joint Forces Headquarters Command was informed that no heat ray weapon was available. The revelation still outraged uh, civil rights activists who worry federal and state law enforcement will increasingly revert to harsher methods in repelling protests and rioting. All right, and that is what they, they want to do. That's why they're allowing, they're making the battle seem as though the protesters are doing so much and they're, oh my gosh, they're out of control. Our, our regular means are not working, so we need to come with harsher means. And they were planning to bring out a pain ray or a heat ray to burn your ass, man. Okay? And this is not off the table. It is not off the table. Just given another opportunity, they will bring it out. And worse. Okay? Um, now, this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 21, verse 9. It says, Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, a sword a sword is sharpened and also furbished. Okay? So you have a sword that's being prepared to come down with great wrath. Now what, what? Now that the sword is sharpened, now what? Verse 10. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. Okay? The sword isn't sharpened to scare you, to threaten you, to, to throw out empty threats. It is, it is sharpened to be put to use. A sore slaughter. Not one, not two, not three, but multitudes. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? Is this the time to joke? Is this the time to have fun? Is this the time to take some time off and, and, and start a family and, you know, stuff like that? No. Because Ecclesiastes 3 tells you there's a time of war and a time of peace. A time to gather and a time to scatter. Now ain't the time to gather. As it tells you in the book of Ezra, we about to scatter real soon. We got to be like pilgrims upon the, upon the face of the earth. Okay? Here it is, you in your area, and they pull up vans trucks humvees all up surrounding wherever you at and they just blast all of these uh, uh um they turn all these pain rays on at the same time where you're surrounded with in, in, the sensation of burning now if one pain ray or heat ray can heat up your your, your body temperature to about 123 degrees imagine two three four or five at the same time what you think is gonna happen to you you try to run to your right you're getting burnt to your left you're getting burnt you stand still you're getting burnt so is, is this the time to make, to make mirth? Are we in a time of being, uh, 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 you know, folly? Are we in a time of, of just, you know, living carefree? No. All right. It says, It contemneth the rod of my son is every tree, and he hath given it to be furbished, that it may be handled. Okay. The sword is sharpened, and it is furbished to give into the hand of the slayer. So there's about to be a lot of death and killing coming very soon. And what you're seeing are the steps they're taking one step closer, another step closer, one step closer, another step closer. And before you know it, they're right on your neck. Okay? You think you got all this time. Wait till they wait till they really come down with that great rap, man. Okay? So with that, I hope you were edified. And that's why over here, man, we got to hey, continue to remain in prayer, fast, all right, and stay in the spirit, man. All right? So I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakha Kodash. Until next time, Shalom.